Alright, doing this here on Real World again, and I think, you know, even though I haven't really given much time to, to, to get votes or whatever on what you guys thought, but I think I'm going to go to the Drick. I'm going to go to to uh, the West. Turn on cultures so we can see. And yeah, it'll be a, lo a long ways, but, you know, not, you know not, not too far. I mean, I mean, I can make it. I can make it. And I can do fishing and stuff along the way to keep myself going. Got my fishing rod. I got... Yeah, I picked up my bow and arrow last time. I've got my javelin. I can use that on something, I guess. Got my knife. I've got some food. So I can go quite a ways before I have to stop and get some food. So I'm good to go, I think. Um, I was thinking about making more arrows. And I looked real quick. God dang it, that's what I did last time. I looked real quick to see... That's what I did last time. <laughs> I did it off camera so that I wouldn't do, take as long. And then I take just as long on camera. I looked to see how much... What it takes to make an arrow. And it takes a branch, a knife, tying equipment, and a rock. Rocks are easy. Branches, obviously, are easy. The tying equipment, I would need... Um, you know, some kind of fur or some kind of leather... And I thought I had some, but I don't have any. I thought I had like seven pounds left, but I must have done it, done something with it. I don't remember. Let's see, what was the button? Was it... No? That was... Okay, yeah. Uh, maybe it's down here at one of these camps. I haven't checked my traps in a while, so I think I may as well do that while I'm here. Uh, here we go. Yeah, there's nothing here. Oops. Yeah, meh. I may as well check these up here. Nothing, and nothing, and nothing. Alright, well. Alright, head back out to the map. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what happened to that stuff, so I guess I'm just going to head out. Unless it's down here. I just remembered I, I was starting another camp down here that I was actually going to make into my home, eventually, because there's a good fishing location not too far from the camp. A little bit away from civilization, so I don't have to worry about robbers as much. Is it here? It says one cord. Yeah, there's the, the... Yeah. Yeah, so maybe I could do some of that. Let's see here. This. Uh, wait, I first I need to do this and get some cords. Cords, let's say... I don't know, five. Let's make the max and see if it'll do it. You'd think seven pounds you'd be able to... Yeah, it says two and a half I need, and I got more than that. Two and a half for all five cords. So yeah, let's do some of that and make some arrows. Need to eat a little. Let's see, what do we got? We got a couple of pikes. Should I just start in on a pike? I wish I could tell how like old it is. But let's start in on a pike. I'm a little thirsty, but that can wait. Uh, whoops, I... Five inferior cords. Yeah, because I'm not very good at making stuffs. Now we go to weapons and arrows. Oh, well, I got five cords on me. Let's try making... I need five branches, of course, and five rocks. Well, let's get on that. Rock. Oh, wait, G. No, it's not G. G is Dwarf Fortress pickup. Adventure mode pickup, anyways. There's a branch. Are these... Those are spruce twigs. Those were won't work as branches. So let's see, I needed five rocks and five branches. I've got another rock, so that's two. Two rocks, three rocks, and one branch. There's another rock. And there's another rock. Alright, well, let's just cut some off of a tree. What was my button? Here it is. Buttons, buttons, buttons. Yeah. Alright, now that's probably enough here at my feet. Uh, buttons again. Buttons. Arrows. Um, yeah, the cords for that, and then rocks, and then we're good. Alright. Okay. I like how I'm just using a rock for an arrow. I'm not, like, I'm not I'm not sharpening the rock or anything. I mean, I probably am. I don't know, with the knife? I don't know. Uh, let's see. I, ob I obtained two decent, one rough, and a cur uh, two curved arrows. The curved arrows... Yeah, those aren't, you know, those aren't very good. Firing a curved arrow isn't going to 
work out very well. But, but I do have two decent ones, and a rough one. Now, since I don't have experience with different arrow types like that, I don't know, you know, which ones are going to work out better. I do have that one cord left, but, you know, I need some pike. I mean, I would only get one arrow out of it. I'm not sure if I want to worry about it. I don't know. I'm a bit tired. Oh, why is this kind of see-through? Hmm. That's weird. Alright, well, let's see. I'm a bit tired. It's noon. I can wait a little bit here. What do I want to do? What do we got here? Uh, let's see. You got the cord now. Should I... Should I make that... Did I have any more... Rocks and stuff? Did I... know I, I picked up just enough rocks. Then those branches were back down there. Let's just go back over there. Find... Here's a rock. Oh, almost hit G again. I've been playing a lot of Dwarf Fortress of Adventure mode. Um... It's really screwing with my buttons. Control M. There we go. It. Uh, one. Wait. Ah, oh, I didn't grab the cord. Meh. Hold on. I got this. I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Professional Unreal World. Like, there's a... Like a, a professional league. You know, Unreal World League. God, how would, what would you even... How would that even work? Competitive Unreal World. <laughs> uh, okay, a rough arrow. Awesome. At least it's not curved, right? I thought I saw... Yeah, there's a berry down here. Leave no berry ungrabbed. Alright. No man left behind. Now I think we're pretty much ready to go, except for gonna, we're going to wait until the end of the day, go to sleep, and leave tomorrow. Um, so I want to do something else. I want to try to make maybe a javelin? What else can I make here? Or a club? Or... Or... A stone axe might be nice. I didn't even realize I could make a stone axe. What do I need for that? A stone, a slender trunk. Rope! Ah! I just used the last of my cord. I'll have to make some more. Alright. I'm gonna make that, though. That sounds like that sounds like a good deal. Let's see. Leather, leather rope. It says I need rope. Not cord. This is for tying and binding. It says at the bottom here. Use the tie and bind. Oh, I lost it too somehow. Use the tie and bind, and then the rope is used to tie and bind. I thought it said something else. I thought it said something different. Alright, well, that sound, that's, uh, sounds good. Strips, uh, yeah, we know what a bandage is. So, so it says rope. I probably need a rope. Let's do a rope. Alright. Uh, we need water. Oh, I need leather. Oh, and it's not leather, it's fur. Well, sag. Alright, then. Is this leather? No, that's nettle. Nettle is a plant, isn't it? I guess. Yeah. Well, I guess that's all I can do with that. May as well put it down, eh? Now, that won't ever go bad, right? It's been tanned. It's good to go. Yeah, that's, that's good to go. It won't ever go bad. I'll just leave it here. Uh, I just noticed I got 41 fistfuls of crowberries. In addition to my two pikes and bunch of other fish. Yeah, I'm good to go here. I just need to, uh, screw around till the end of the day. Um, maybe I'll make a club. That's pretty simple. I can't really imagine not having the stuff for that. What does it need? Slender and a cutting weapon. Yep, do it. Holy balls, it's gonna take forever. How long does it take to chop off the end of a stick? Jesus. Eh, whatever. Do what you need to do. 
I guess. That'll that'll take the time. Now it's night time. That's right about where I want it to be. Eat some more of that pike. Oh, oh I'm fatigued. I'm gonna wait a little bit. There we go. I want to drink some water before I go to sleep. Yeah, like like take making a club out of a big long stick. It shouldn't really take that long, right? Because we're assuming that the club is, or that the the slender trunk, is approximately the size of the club already. But I don't know. Anyways, next day. It's a brand new day, and it's time to get underway. Hey hey. Um. No, that's not the map. That's the map. All right. Yep. Confirmed. I'm still in the same place I was last time. I looked at the map. <laughs> I do that all the time. It's like, yeah, it's time for me to move. I'm going to look at the map for absolutely no real reason. I don't know. Whatever. I guess we're good to go. I mean, I always feel like, you know, it's it's like when I'm leaving the house. You know, you ever get that? You're like, ah, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like I should, uh, I should, try, I should do something. I've got that club. That's nice. I can probably use that to bonk something if I get in a fight. Actually, in fact... Let's, uh, wait, can I take, let's see, is it, is this take off? No, it's not take off. What about, can I remove? No. What about shift take? Take off, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I want to put in my main hand, I want to put that club. And then, uh, let's put the javelin in this, in the other hand. Because I think if it's in your, if it's in your hand, you can throw it a lot faster. Uh, not control T or, or shift T. I keep it in shift T for the map, and that's not the ma map I want. I want this map. Okay. See, too much Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode. I'm playing that too much. I'm playing that more than I really should. You know, I should be playing Dwarf Fortress Mode. I'm getting a little bit better at that. But anyways, I'm on the way. Let's let's go ahead and drink at this pond could eat some food. Eh, let's chomp down a bream. Ooh. I don't know what a bream is still. I should look that up. I really should. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. That's a that's a bad guy. That's a bad man. Um, can I look at him? Uh, F3 here. A human-shaped figure in the distance. Yeah, well, he's got red clothes on, and only those... Nezure Prezit guys, or whatever, the, pi the purple guys in the corner on the map. They're super hostile, and only they wear red. I don't know what he's doing all the way over here, though. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna continue on, because that's the last thing I want to do, is try to fight him. Maybe if I was, you know, covered in plate mail, and had, like, a two-handed, you know, crazy sword of, of nastiness... Then I might fight him. You know, maybe, maybe if I had, like, a, a buddy with a big old crossbow, you know, to back me up. That type of thing. But, as it is, I don't want nothing to do with him. Let's see what we can see from here. Well, more trees. What do you know? Trees? Trees? Hey, look. Trees. Awesome. eat again. Finish off that there bream. Yeah, I got way more food than I'm going to need, really. Some of it's going to end up going bad. But, I mean, that's that's the thing. I caught so much. I think that's the thing. I caught, I think, you know, I think I caught so much that I, I could sell some. You know, caught more than I knew. I knew more of that. Words today. I caught more than I was going to need. I knew I was going to, you know, not eat that much. So I was like, yeah, catch more than I need, and I can sell some, and still have as much as I need. But, uh, just want to see how far I've gone. There. Yeah, if you, it's kind of hard to get an idea of how far it is, you know, and when you're spectating. But, if you kind of look at the map at the bottom, you can see how many times I'm moving the map. So you can get kind of an idea how long this is going to take. But I should be able to get there within a few days. I mean, now that I think about it, 
Well, it won't take that long. Go ahead and start in on that second pike. Very tasty and devoured with great appetite. Yeah, if only I had some tartar sauce, right? Mmm, tartar sauce. And lots of salt and pepper. Mm, now I'm hungry. I gotta quit doing that. I used to do that a lot when I was recording videos and talk about food and get hungry. Then I got into the habit of stopping doing that. Don't do that. Don't you know? Every time I was about to think about food. Now this this game has got me thinking about food again. Cause food, fish. You know, it's fish, man. I like fish. I don't like a lot of seafood, but I do like fresh, you know, freshwater fish. I don't know about like. I mean, tuna's all right, but I don't know about any other kind of like saltwater fish. You know, like I've never had like anything. Cr I've never even had like elk. Like. Like for land creatures, I've never even had like elk, or or bear, or like anything. I've I've eaten cow, I've eaten pig, um, <laughs> you know, basically. I don't know what I plan to do about this thing. I do have a bow. Hmm. Too bad I'm not sneakier. I need to be very sneaky. Are you really gonna come over here? No. Oh, he's going away. Oh, he noticed me. That's what the thing is. Of course he did. Man. Tracking an elk down. I've done this before. And you're not guaranteed to get him. And it's, uh, well, it's late evening. You would think that he might be going to sleep. If I zoom out here, maybe I can watch him go to sleep. Go to sleep. Right there. Just just go to sleep. Come here. Get around. There. I know where to go. Ah well. Like I said, I mean it it's a it's a long process. My dude's not good at this uh type of food gathering. You know, and 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 then and that, and that. Yeah, you know, that's it and that's that. You know? I'm already on my way. I, I have enough food for now, so that's the thing. I don't need food. I wouldn't mind having the extra m uh, food for trading, and I also wouldn't mind having the the skin for trading and for other stuff. But at the same time, I'm not going to get them. <laughs> I need to sleep. All right, we'll eat then. <laughs> That's my solution. Need to sleep, huh? Oh, there's a Boyd. Huh? I lost him. Alright. Uh, zoom in. That's... That's the wrong zoom function. <laughs> that's zooming out. Uh, no, no. Not in the water. Drink of the water. Yes. Now sleep next to the water. Rain... Oh man. See, I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to make a shelter every, you know, every few feet. Well, I'm I'm weary. I'm not completely tired. Holy crowberries. Ugh. But I've already got so many. Do, uh, do they go bad? Um. Well, I, actually, if I pick some up, and then if I check, no, I don't think they'll go bad. Because if they were going to go bad, then the first 41 fistfuls should have been on a different pile. Because they're all, they, they, you know, I've had them for a while. They should be getting close to spoiling. So that would mean these new ones, these fresh ones, would be on a whole new pile. Kind of like the fish do. So I don't think that they'll go bad. Of course, I could be wrong. I could be that the whole pile will go bad, you know, at the same time. All right, well, here we go. Pick up some berries. Picking up berries. 